Hi Ever After High fans! Today is an extremely happy day for my daughter and me because Rosabella Beauty, daughter of Beauty and the Beast and Ever After High Rebel, has shown up on our doorstep. Yay! We've been waiting for, for her for what seems like forever. Her emblem is a golden rose and I cannot wait to get her out of the box and read her story. But first let's check out the back of the box and her artwork which is super cute super adorable. I like that she looks very studious. Apparently Rosabella is a beast rights activist and she can see through to people's inner natures, their true natures. Her best friends are her cousin Briar Beauty and Cerise Hood. That's no surprise. Now let's take the gorgeous Rosabella out of the box and put her glasses on and examine her in all of her magnificence. She is so awesome, so awesome. She is my second favorite doll after Darling Charming. So let's look at her crown. It is a crown of golden roses. I noticed that her chestnut brown hair has a streak of very bright red. I'm not even sure what to call that color. I guess I would call it vermilion, scarlet, carnelian, I'm not sure. It is held into a high ponytail and the rest of her chestnut brown hair cascades down her back in waves. She wears brown glasses with little red roses in the corners and her beautiful brown eyes are accented with thick lashes and light purple eyeshadow as well as a layer of smoky gray eyeshadow. She has a pert nose, full red lips, and a nice square chin, a very nice pointy chin. Reminds me of Gina Davis's chin. Not sure you guys know who she is, but anyway, she wears golden rose earrings and a fur collar, which throws me for a loop because if she's a beast rights activist, I'm not sure what she's doing wearing their fur, but okay, we'll suspend disbelief. Better not to ask too many questions. She has a rose print top held together by a rose belt, a golden yellow skirt, in the bottom and an outer layer of see-through gold, almost gold lame material, golden roses on, on gold. Her boots are probably the coolest boots because they have fur details with a red rose on the top and very high heels. And she wears a connected wrist and ring and to get I'm sorry a connected bracelet and ring and it looks like a golden rose stem and this pocketbook of hers also looks like an actual book or a diary and it's time for Rosabella to meet the bed that I made for her so many weeks ago in anticipation of her arrival and I have to say I'm very pleased with the effect I think the bed is perfect for her absolutely perfect. I think you guys will agree, right? And Rosabella, why don't you try sitting on your bed? See how it feels. Check it out. You like it? Do you want to get under the covers and go to sleep? Of course you do. Yay, you're finally here. So awesome. And there's your roommate, Darling Charming, and you two lovely rebels can do all the good you want to together. The story that Rosabella has with her is very cool. Talks about how she rescues Rugsy with the help of Farah Good Fairy, who's the daughter of the fairy godmother. So hopefully they will be giving us a new character and a new doll next year. Hope you enjoy and I hope you guys get your own Rosabellas very soon. Thank you for watching.